Hello guys, Jolag Vlog or Joel here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Season 14 Custom J. Now if you look in the back you do see that there are a lot of pieces or I guess minifigures that you need to make this because I mean I had all of these, this was pretty simple for me to make um, because I kind of saw the actual picture. Um, I know that I did make the Lloyd one in the beginning um, but I wanted to wait until like clear set images came out and then I would you know actually continue with this series and now that I have each you know picture and a uh, reference to look on that's why I now is coming out with these um, a lot more quicker you could say but yeah so there's quite a quite a few things to break down here so the first we have um, you know the legs from the March of the Oni. Let me take out his weapon because it's kind of covering legs. All right, so first we have the legs of the March of the Oni or the Legacy um, J legs. So you can get those from just any Legacy set. I'm pretty sure there's like a cheap one, um, a cheap set where I think it's like a miniature version of Jay's like. Um, uh, I, I think it's the, that um, one where his golden weapon turns into the like plane thing. I forget what that's called, but yeah, you can just get them, or you can just look them up online, Bricklink, eBay, whatever you normally use, Amazon, whatever, to try and find that Legacy J. Then you're gonna you just find him, and you're gonna need to use those. And then you're gonna need the Lego Ninjago movie, any or honestly just any single figure that has these dark blue arms and then you're gonna get the sons of garmadon j torso and you're gonna take out the arms very care carefully carefully because these can break very easily i tried with the kai custom minifigure here i just got done taking the picture for the thumbnail and also putting him on my instagram now my instagram is joe lego underscore vlog i'll just uh, put it right here for you and there you go so yeah that's my instagram um but yeah so i was i was like i was saying with these arms i'm trying to put them in and trying to you know take them out the putting them in is like into a different torso is the easy part but taking them you know out of a torso is the hard part because you really have to be careful i recommend not taking it out you know just like this this is not a good way to do it because you're pushing against here and that can get the hand to kind of snap out of that arm and you can just kind of break the whole front part of the arm and then you have no more arm for that figure um but yeah so what you want to do is you're gonna want to kind of just like put the arm up and kind of push against here so let me just show you on a regular j minifigure what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to push there, you know, kind of get that out and then you'll, you know, successfully take it out. Um, but you don't want to do this. You do not want to do that because you're just going to push the hand out and maybe even break the hand and the arm in the process. And it's not very fun. So, yeah, you're also going to need the Tournament Legacy J or what you can do is if you have the regular Tournament J or the Rebooted J, just any blue bandana. And if you have uh, the Lego Ninjago movie unmasked J, you can just put, you know, that blue bandana on on top of here. And there you go. You have that. So you're also going to need that shoulder armor, that armor pad or the shoulder pad, I uh, should call it. Uh, you're going to need that from the Forbidden or the Secrets, the Secrets of the Forbidden Benjutsu J. I don't know why I just can't talk today. Um, but yeah, you're going to need the shoulder pad from that with the shuriken molded into there. And this is honestly, I think, one of my better customs when it comes to season 14 because I didn't expect it to come out this well. Um, but yeah, so if we look in the back, have that other J face where he's smiling. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same face, just like the Ninjago movie. We've been getting it from, or since the Ninjago movie. And, uh, yeah, well, except for season 12. Um, but yeah, that's that's like everything you really need to know these are the extra you know i guess figures and pieces um literally the only thing that's missing is his shoulder pad um the only thing that's missing from the sog figure is the torso and the head so yeah and you know the mask but the mask is not really included so you still have that um but yeah and then here the only thing you are missing here is the um pretty much just the whole top part of him the bandana the head and the hair 
So that's basically everything for that. And then from the Ninjago movie, or just any, you know, figure that has these dark blue arms, you just take the arms out. But I suggest these because this is where I got everything from. Um, but yeah, you, I'm just letting you know that you can get these from multiple different figures. Uh, it does not have to be this, you know, exact J. It can literally be Kai, J, Zane, Cole, Lloyd, and Nia that you can get any of these from. I normally just take out the figure that has this, you know, armor. That basically, if I'm reviewing J, my custom version, and I have this in it, then I'm going to get this one. You know, if I'm doing Kai, then I'm going to have Kai over here. That's just how I do it. But, you know, you can just use any type of shoulder pad that has this um, seasonal weapon style on it. But yeah, that's everything about this. Uh, I showed you the back. The back printing doesn't really matter. It's just that SOG back printing. You can't really see anything there. Um, but yeah, that's the Season 14 Custom J. And now let's get on to his weapon. So his weapon over here, I tried recreating it the best I could. The Literally, the only difference is the machete is not golden. It's uh, silver because I don't think we've ever got any golden machete before. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. So, I can't tell in the pictures if the machete, this stud piece, is on the bottom or the top. But I'm pretty sure it's on the bottom. It works better on the bottom, and it does seem like it's really going to come out, but you do have to kind of pull on it in order for it to really come out. So, if you um, are trying to just, you know, kind of like swing it around, it's definitely not going to come off easily unless you really try to make it to. But yeah, that's going to be it for the Season 14 J. Um, and yeah, this is honestly, again, like I said, one of the better J custom, or just the better custom minifigures. I did not expect my J to come out this good, um, or I should say this accurate. Um, I did not expect it to come out as accurate as it uh, actually did, because when I was actually putting this thing together, um, I went over some uh, different designs. Maybe I was thinking of maybe this one, but then it really just didn't fit, and I saw the Sons of Garment on J, and I was like, this is definitely the one, and then there we go. So. Yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Please like and subscribe and comment what you think could have been added to this minifigure, if there's anything different that you would have, you know, made different, I guess. Um, but yeah, just like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I make more videos, or I'm making more videos like this, and uh, if you want to follow my Instagram, it's right here again. I post, like, stuff that's going to come out, you know, that's in the works. Or just um, just pictures because I'm doing this thing where I daily I post pictures of each season with a little quote that's from that season. So yeah, today I'm on season six at the time of this recording, so I have to go make that. But yeah, I will see you guys later and in my next video. So bye.